darkness makes way for the golden rays of the sun rays that reveal the grandeur of rolling hills and forests shrouded in mist this is western ghats the range spans from north to south along the western edge of Deccan Plateau for about 1,600 kilometers. Known also as Sahyadris, the area is one of the richest biodiversity hotspots and is a birthplace for many rivers. The jungle is my office. It is my dream to document some rare moments and gain new metaphorical perspectives. My endeavor is strengthened by Sakala, a field biologist, and Samu, a fine percussionist. I am on a mission to film a rare species of frog, and I call them wrestlers of Western Ghats. Of all the books that caught my attention, there's one book which really stands out. This was published in the year 1996, the month of December, and the book is Resonance. In particular, there is one article by Devyani Roy, Courtship in Frogs, Role of Acoustics Communication in Amphibian Courtship Behavior. How does it vocalize? Being one of the very first to vocalize in terrestrial uh, environment, uh, it assumes a special importance. Each rocks are supposed to have a unique call for itself, and the uniqueness of these rock calls can best be described by an objective analysis. Fourier transforms, and Fourier transforms allows us to understand what are the distinctive component frequencies that are there in each of these frog calls. This is a spectrum of Fracophorus malabaricus, the malabar gliding frog. With a childlike imagination, we were able to relate this call to rhythmic beats of Indian classical music. These mnemonic syllables perhaps represent the call of the Malabar gliding frog. If we consider our natural world as a grand orchestra with birds as singers, then frogs are percussionists. Fortunately for us, not very far from the place where this book was published in the year 1996, we have a very renowned scientist, a frog scientist by name Dr. K. V. Guru Raja working for Gubi Labs. 14 new species of dancing frogs have been described from Western Ghats in the last two years. The beauty about these frogs is that they not only vocalize but also swing their legs in order to communicate with their peers, perhaps to beat the ambient noise. I have decided to accept the invitation of the hills and set sail towards the wild, wild west.
known as the poor man city, Sakleshpur with its picturesque landscapes and coffee plantation is 250 kilometers from Bangalore, a good four and a half hours drive. Further away from the town is a paradise, Jainkal Valley Retreat. This will be my home for weeks to come. Every day started with a travel further away from the camp. A trek to the hill was so beautiful. I was amazed by the diversity of life around and captured a number of pictures to heart's content. I was fortunate enough to photograph some endemic species of frogs too. The days of waiting had indeed come to an end. Rather than jump with joy, I sat there motionless in awe of what I had seen. The Kottige Herons' dancing frock. As if woken after a dream, I swung into action, assembling my paraphernalia while Venkateshwana went about watching with constant chatter. Slowly, the action started unfolding in front of me, or so I thought. One by one, individuals showed up as they perched on rocks and twigs. The arena looked well set with a shaft of light piercing through the canopy. There were bench sitters too. And then there was one feeble call from a male. again and another male joins the chorus and the chorus goes on while the female watches
to the top. It taps and taps again. And wow, that was her foot flocking. Another foot goes up. What is he trying to do? I call this meal Manduka. Just when I thought the action is over, Manduka springs a surprise and taps his leg again. He has a rival. Arrival taps. Manduka taps too. A rival does a foot flogging, and Manduka takes note of it immediately. Is arrival up to? Manduka shows off his foot. He means business. Rival takes it directly to Manduka. For reasons that I don't understand, the rival loses the belt. That was a triumphant moment for Manduka. What we are about to see is something that's spectacular from a different perspective. The most interesting aspect that I believe I have come to understand by looking at the behavior of these rocks is they are perhaps dancing, and as the research paper goes, they're not exactly dancing to attract a mate, they're dancing by foot flagging to ward off a potential rival. And in my view, I believe it amounts to a wrestling behavior rather than a dancing behavior. This is solar reaction to what we see with sumo wrestlers who do a lot of foot stomping. I think that is a wonderful discovery that I have come to appreciate.
Manduka and his clan are the true wrestlers of Western Ghats. <laughs>